sound as important as Yankee Stadium going away. And no. And, you know, I got to admit, being a Mets uh, fan, it's a, it's a drastic difference between the two stadiums going away. Yeah. Shea Stadium is an S-hole, and Yankee Stadium is a legendary place that, that, that Ruth built. Speaking of S-holes. Hello, S-hole. <laughs> oh, damn, look at that. Hey, some intro. I wish I hadn't got up. <laughs> you guys talking about that new De Niro Pacino movie? I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, we commented a couple of times on I it. I know I heard it. It was like, we, horrible. We uh, we drop it. We no, can't help ourselves. Drop it. Weeks. No, drop we it. We cannot it's help the crowd. talking about them because it's horrible. They're two legendary actors. Yeah, but how do you think everyone's feels? favorite movies how include think- these two gentlemen? Uh, uh, their works. Meet the parents, you mean? Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. But what I'm saying is, how do you think it feels to the average Wyatt Lather who's driving in to his job and he has to listen to you three prattle on about his dumb premiere with Bob Kelly as his guest? <laughs> I think that they like to hear what the celebrities that they like are doing. Shush. I think so. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm with Jimmy on this one. Yeah, it's not back like you're a regular Joe, thinking for the regular guy. Well, I, I'm thinking about just the average person's ears just listening to this <laughs> prattle. <laughs> Rattle. I think it was best put by Ron, who just said, Anthony's invitation saves it. And I was like, exactly. Oh. Who said that? Uh, a friend of mine. Oh. Well, don't say Ron like we all know him. Yeah, who's Ron? Yeah, he works here. He picked me up downstairs. Well, I guess he's one mm. of the interns. The funniest thing is you get a lobby. You always wonder, ooh, who's the O&A guy that's going to pick me up downstairs in the lobby? There's like eight people in suits. And then a kid with like the, you know, trimmed beard and like he's got hip-hop sweatshirts on oh, his whole guy. That's hip-hop Ron. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ron, you're not enjoying our bit? No, he said he enjoyed oh, Anthony. Well, good. He likes me. That's good. That's all that like, really counts. What? Look at Norton. impression of Al Pacino. But Jim, Jim's been doing a, a remarkable impression of uh, De Niro. Well, not really the De Niro, but I it's did hard. Pacino It's hard. You did Pacino yesterday. We were all doing it's Pacino. It's as bad as my, yeah, as my De Niro. Well, yeah. Jim, yeah. yeah. Of course. Uh, uh, by the way, here's my new Jim. Ready? I say, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I, <laughs> Sorry, I, Ron, the producer. We, we yeah, whatever, Ron. Sorry, Ron. That's all you get today. I, I'm figuring this out, though. Colin played uh, De Niro back in the day. Yes, so he maybe did. there's a little jealousy. That you're now there playing is. De Niro. Speaking of De- uh, kid on the block. Chino and Ron, you know, yeah. Ron's from uh, Nickabaca Village, where the whole uh, lefty Ruggiero and all those guys are from. Oh, really? From uh, Donnie Brasco. That's where they're from, from where Ron's from. Oh, yeah? He's probably not allowed to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. It's not really a. All right, I'm hot sorry. Hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's as hot as... All right, let's move uh, on. <laughs> what well, else is going on? Well, we're going to be playing the... Uh, we got to do the top ten list. And oh, then we're going to okay. move on officially. Okay. What are you, yeah. what are you pointing at? Nothing. What was on the TV? <laughs> <then>? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Y- yikes. <laughs> What's the top ten? And I hope an Escalade is in a ditch on the side of the expressway. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid me. I'm like, what are you pointing at, Colin? <laughs> ah, Jesus. What's the top ten list? Top ten De Niro and Pacino thing? It's De Niro and Pacino delivering the top ten list for last, yeah. night, last night. I just saw Sam inside. He's good at the news. I didn't realize. He's a pro. Oh, yeah. yeah Send he... him back to Syracuse. <laughs> with Scorch. Back to Scorch. He used to work with Scorch. Scorch. I know, I know. Hey, can we put the AC on? It's like heating up in here or something. Hey, uh... The best part about this Letterman's top ten with uh, Al Pacino and uh, Bob Bobby Bobby De Niro Letterman's yeah, but listen to Letterman trying to pump this up. They do it from a remote in two big leather chairs. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. They're they're not in studio. They're they're uh, yeah. on some other weird. But Letterman thing. knows this sucks, and he's trying to pump you know pump it up a bit. Kind of like how you're trying to pump up our show right now. Don't Colin. forgive him. Go ahead, let's hear. I can't believe there's an actually top ten for this. Even let top ten upset. reasons I like being an actor. Here we go, number ten. Sometimes when I go to the movies, the popcorn guy will give me a free squirt of chemical butter. <laughs> chemical butter. <laughs> Sick of that. Go ahead. Midwest and chemical Andy. butter. Chemical. Popcorn guy. Chemical All right, butter. let's drop it. Chemical butter. I believe the person was killed from chemical butter. What do you think, Turk? You ever try to get a free squirt of butter at the movies in reality, not in 1950s America? Well, <laughs> what you want? The bottom line is all butter. Excuse is me, free. miss. Because you just carry it over, and you can hit as many pumps. Of course, you can. As butter as you want. So keep hitting the pump, yeah, Dolt. Excuse me, Mr. Butter. Butter's over there. 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Excuse oh my me, God. You're, you're, excuse me, either Fred Berry or Nell from <laughs> Nell Carter. I can't tell. Um, <laughs> you're just fat and miserable personified. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Chemical butter. Chemical butter. Uh, number nine. Every time I go to work, I get to ask myself, I wonder if I'll see Harvey Keitel naked. Yeah. He stole that from my roast of him. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. He didn't write it. Well, Do you think De Niro submit, like, did writing? I have to write. He but, didn't look at it before it was on the monitor. Well, somebody else did then. <laughs> that was the line you used? Uh-huh. <laughs> of the many that ruined that party. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky man. Top ten reasons I like being an actor. Number eight. But well, you got to keep honing your craft, or you could end up out of the business and taking a job as governor of California. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's right. I tell you, that's edgy. Yeah, that's uh, timely too. Yeah. Number seven. If you do a scene where you're eating pudding, they often let you keep the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Funny in a I'm gonna kind of offbeat myself. way. Colin rolled his eyes. He didn't like that one. I'm going to huh? commit suicide if you keep playing these. They well, I, let I, you keep the pudding. I like the pudding one. <laughs> Why? Pudding. They often let you keep it, not always. Often. It that, that made the joke. It was corny. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Still funny. Well, you can't argue with that. Can't beat that. Uh, number six. I got to meet Spider Man. <laughs> wow. Spider Man. He got to meet Spider Man. Happy for him. Mm -hmm. Spider Man it, stinks. And I don't like him. <laughs> wait, till you, wait till you see. Now that was a performance. <laughs> wait till you see. Uh, uh, I got to meet Spider-Man. He was a good fella. <laughs> a good fella. I get it. They called us good fellas. There's a good, uh, there's a, uh, Pacino does one, and then De Niro does one. And De Niro's delivery, it is exactly like late for supper. <laughs> Just inflection <laughs> awful. Uh, number five. It's the makeup. I like wearing the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Reasons I like being an actor. Number four. We'll get to make films for personal reasons. I made Righteous Kill to let people know I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Uh, but get, get the movie uh, name in there. Number three. I get to make films for personal reasons. I made Righteous Kill to see if Al was still alive. Mm -hmm. That's right. If Al was still alive. <laughs> what was this still alive? Yeah. If perfect, Al, perfect delivery. If Al was still alive. Yeah. yeah. Or I if, made Righteous Kill to see if Al was still alive. Yeah. That's where you have to put the inflection. How does, how does a guy who's been talking other people's <laughs> words for 37 years not know that? To see if Al was... And then he realized that there's no joke and he just threw on it at the end, a little inflection. <laughs> if Al was still alive. If, uh, if Al was still alive. <laughs> Ass. Still alive. Uh, uh, he How does he get dialogue? to make dialogue? a comeback. How does he get... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How does he get, like, dialogue so good and, like, a, a written <clears throat> joke so terribly? This is the same guy in The Godfather 2. Is it? Is it? Same guy from Taxi Driver? Is this what we're looking at? Yeah, sure. <sighs> What happens? Yeah, <laughs> you're up by Ina, Sierra Mountains, drinking champagne while you drink champagne cocktails. Did you abort? That guy. That's right. Jesus. Sierra Mountains storm. Yeah, exactly. Number two beats my old gig as a hockey mom. What? What is he talking about? Hockey mom. See, that's gonna iron it. What? What is he talking about? How mm -hmm. about this? How about we make a new rule in comedy? No more of this ironic distance before I kill somebody. Starting with that nonsense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jim's so used to me ranting like this. You just... <laughs> I, don't, I don't disagree. And the number one reason I like being an actor. Get to read well-crafted dialogue like get the f out of here. Yeah, exactly. All right. See, that wouldn't be funny, but it's edgy to say that F word on TV. Yes. <laughs> then you got to beep it. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Watch out. <laughs> Did you pass uh, Obama on the way over here, Colin? Obama! No way. Where, where was he's he? He's literally a block away. He's staying at we the... Just, uh, we just found oh, out that Obama... Wait, is that what I saw those police lights? Yes, he's at the Parker Meridian. All hell's breaking loose about a block away from here because we found out Obama is, yeah. is literally 
I mean, you could almost see, you know, the, the police presence outside this window a block uh, away. Yeah. He's in town. He's going to SNL tomorrow. I saw a guy running. Was that him? Um, Being pursued by an undercover, uh, by a Plymouth Fury? Could be. <laughs> Plymouth Fury, what year is it? <laughs> so they chased you in, in like the 60s. That, that's right, in the 70s. <laughs> 70s. And, we, and we got kind of a six degree of separation here because we just learned that the place that Obama's staying at mm -hmm. is a place that Anthony likes to stay at. And because there wasn't a room available one time when Mr. Kumia was checking in, he yes. got a fine presidential suite. I got the presidential suite. That's wow. where Obama's That's staying, so technically yeah. Anthony has now officially slept in the same bed as Obama. Not only slept. How do you like that, Colin? But, How do you uh, like me now? Had How sexual like relations. That? But not only that, but... With oh, Obama. But yeah. he's going to actually... Anthony, if he was there now, he'd be like that, uh, like those Aryan uh, meth heads. He'd be sitting there, and he's down the hall from me. And those guys were all meth out. Go, he's down the hall from me. Down the hall. Like they thought he was on the same floor. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony be sitting there with all his guns on the bed. He's down the hall. <laughs> Uh, but Kenny came in with the news, all excited. Is Kenny here? Because uh, we got to bring that excitement yeah. to the show. Kenny's uh, like, you're not going to believe this one. Don't go in that room, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Obama gets out of the tub. Nich <laughs> Nicholson hugs him. <laughs> so you got Obama doing SNL. You got McCain and his wife doing uh, that dumb view today at 11, also in New York City. Who's doing that? I wonder, where's the McCain. politics? Oh, McCain's doing the view? Oh. With his wife, I believe. Yep. Oh, God, that's his never wife is good. A, his wife is an emotional and sexual slave. <laughs> really? She has that look in her eyes like, please, somebody take this note. <laughs> Here's Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, get over there. She's planning right now how to leave a note on one of the uh, tables, the craft service tables. Who would... uh, Help me. He says I'm a spoiled little bitch. Kenny? Good morning. So Hi, Obama's, Kenny. Obama's literally a block away from us? That's what I was told, yes. By uh, some certain people? Certain people in the know, yes. And the presence out there is pretty crazy, right? Yes, there's NYPD command posts, and there's uh, a lot of Secret Service. Oh, not so secret now. Nope. No, I, just wrote a, I just wrote a John Deere, a block here, like 6.30 in the morning. One of my maintenance guys had a John Deere tractor. I jumped on. He started driving down the street. It was the funniest thing ever. So, a little baby John Deere. We could take that over and show him about our... Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll say, what are you talking about? Our guns and religion? We're clean to do it, boy. Why don't we take the John Deere and see how close we could get to that hotel? I think the one thing you couldn't get close to was with the John Deere. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, damn, let me go see what's going on down there. <laughs> Who's that? Are you kidding me? No, right yeah. here? It'll be like Blazing Saddles. Yeah. <laughs> the president is a... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play... Uh, how no, damn, burn it. I said the president <laughs> isn't... <laughs> 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 I give you this laurel and hearty handshake. <laughs> you want to play how close could we get to Obama today? Uh, just, no. Just random people from the show just walking and see how close they get before they're uh, turned around. How close He's... do you think they would get there, Kenny? Well, I think uh, a certain member from this radio show is familiar with that hotel, so he I already knows said it. all that. Oh, I, could get a, I, I could probably get a room. He's had assignations there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jeez. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's a big word. <laughs> all right, let's move on. You think he'll be let's at the... Uh, way, to, way to know the listeners. A nice burger joint a big in there. word like that. Think he'll go in there. Yeah, get a burger yeah, downstairs. Sit uh, down. Uh, Secret service. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you gotta go in there and do that. Is that a forty? Is that a thirty-eight? Yeah, what do you got there? How do you become Secret Service? <laughs> that's good. Just waiting for the senator. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, just waiting. Now it's a social security zero. number. He gives the wrong amount of numbers. Yeah. Oh, that's my. Uh, what was just asked? That's my social security. Yeah. Number. I was thinking of my phone number. Oh, my phone number. <laughs> that's Fair seven. Number. Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all you got, Kenny. I thought, you, I thought you had more on this thing. How about something? He thought you had something. Yeah, <laughs> anything. <laughs> Isn't he terrific? Uh, no, terrific. You guys, but, you know, you That's know me. terrific. I'm big and stupid. Right? What do you expect from me? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrific. Big and stupid. He made a lot of money, too. It's yeah. terrific. Yeah. <laughs> Salute, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> he was terrific. He'd make them shine like mirrors. Excuse my language. Girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was terrific. Shine like mirrors. That's how he makes... That's how he, uh, he was terrific. <laughs> he is terrific. Travis, oh, he's terrific. Travis is insane. Travis suggests we send someone out with a sign like in Die Hard 3. Oh, what? my what? God. What is what's, wrong with you? Oh, boy. They, well, they made Bruce uh, Willis go uptown. Uh, 
with a sign around his neck uh. that said something about, um, uh. I hate, was it I hate? Yeah. yeah, I hate, and then the yeah. ominous N word. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they sent him up. That was their idea of edgy ethnic. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of controversy. When and that when movie hit, when it's on regular TV, uh, where they destroy all movies, they pixelate that. It says, so you- I hate Nipsey Russell. <laughs> <laughs> And then it says in quotes underneath, you fill in the blank, obviously, <laughs> what I mean. All right, well. It says, I hate Nipsey Russell and 30 million more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to piggyback on Jimmy's joke. I hear course. you. I hear you. Colin Quinn in studio. A lot of excitement. Obama's a block away. We need to do something to get our faces in the news. That's what uh, I'm That's probably a bad way. Yeah, because it's... it's well, never, we're not doing the sign thing. You never wind up in the news when it's a presidential candidate in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's never good. Yeah. Why don't you make him come on the show? I, we were trying to get him on this. He won't come on. Yeah, he no, make him on. do it. Why? He's he, afraid of our tough questions. We won't see him no more. It would be smart if he show. came on and did a little yeah. walkthrough. Maybe we should get the creepy new intern to go see how close he oh, can get to Oh, yeah. Oh, Stephen Hawking's without the chair. Wow, we got it. We got it. <laughs> we got a, a new creep. Wait till you see this guy, man. Colin. We're the only show that, that <laughs> hires potential serial killers and stalkers. Ah! Look at this kid. Look at this kid. Jesus. <laughs> Look at this kid. Can he just kind of... What's your name, buddy boy? I'm Dave, the new intern. Hi, Dave. You're Dave. Wait, yeah. you didn't hi, say Dave. hi to Colin Quinn. Inter- he did. He answered my question. Yeah, but... Why do you have to wear a sticker? Acknowledge Colin Quinn. Hi, Colin. How are hi, you? Hi, Dave. How are you? Very good. Wh- nice where do you come you. from, Dave? What's up? Where do you come... Oh, easy, Tiger. Where do you come from? New Jer- I'm from North Jersey. Oh. Oh, whereabouts? South Orange. South Orange? Oh, yeah. the other white guy that was there. South Orange is okay. Damn are, you, it. are you a fan of the show? He's orange. Definitely a big fan. Yeah. What do you spin, like about spin the that camera around, Danny? <laughs> Why do they so, give him a sticker? So people know who he is. He says, hi, I'm David. Well, oh. yeah, we usually do that with interns because uh, I have no idea. Are what the other their interns names are. bothering you, or are they treating? Why are you we well? making them wear the awful red shirt that we've been passing around the no, office? No, they're treating and... me well. Definitely, they are. Oh, it's young, dumb, and full of, and then a word. Yeah, full of what uh, can't say right now. What Brie Olsen uh, had on her, you know what, yesterday. <laughs> certainly did. I and, like the shirt. Oh, it's a nice present. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no one wanted it. It was in the garbage. He looks like uh, somebody. We pulled out of the garbage to put on you today, sir. Someone from a movie. I can't figure it out. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren? Yeah, who do they say you look like? <laughs> Dolph they Lundgren. That no, that didn't. Who? Nothing. They, no, they haven't told me yet. No one's quite. told you anything. I'll tell you, he looks like life. Rodney Dangerfield's son and back to school. A little bit. Arnie, a little bit. He was also in Christine. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Spaz from Meatballs. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Definitely. Unfortunately, that name's been tainted on our show, so we can't call you that. <laughs> By the way, that actor that you just mentioned, awful. One of the worst actors ever. Yeah, I forget his name. He couldn't have got more breaks, too. He got a lot yeah. of good breaks, right? He was awful in that uh, Back to School movie, and he was awful yeah. in Christine. Yeah. Not as bad in Christine. Yeah, he was trying to be the evil kid, and it just Keith didn't Gordon? work. Keith Thank Gordon? Thank you, Danny. Yeah, he Keith sucks. Gordon. Keith Gordon. Such Still. a name meant for stardom. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, that's Gordon. not good. His IMDb stops at the year 2001. Hmm. Oh, boy. What does yeah. that mean? <laughs> Maybe he was at the uh, Trade Center. What does that mean? <laughs> What's he look Topical? like now? David, so uh, what's your deal, man? Yeah. How old a lad are you? 26. And what did you do before you went interning in college? Definitely college, man. To, to major in what? I'm looking to get into broadcasting, radio. Did you yeah. go to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting? I certainly did. You, you heard. Oh, you, you did. Yeah, and they, did they help place you here? They certainly did, wow, yes. Wow, just like they say in their room. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. You got any tapes that we can listen to? I'd like to hear some of yeah, your uh, some kind of on-air. Uh, yeah, definitely. Not at the not right on me right now, no. No. Definitely have to get some. All right, uh, so uh, how old a guy are you? 26. You're 26. Where do you live? North Jersey. No, I mean, like, where do you, do you have a house? Do you uh, live with your parents? Yeah, parents. Definitely. Oh, Jesus. Do you, you do realize you're a little old to be living with the parents. I know, I definitely, I know. Basement? No, no, not in the basement. Got your own room? Same room you had when you were a little kid? Same one. Jesus Christ. Star Wars sheets? <laughs> no. I'm a little too old for that. Oh, are you? Yeah. You got a chick? Not... I'm looking. Mm-hmm. Have you had a chick? Be looking no, I'm looking. I'm single. I'm looking. But but have you ever had a girlfriend? No. Wow. I'm looking. I'm... Get out of here. No, are you man, a... I'm looking. Are you a virgin? Definitely. 26-year-old virgin. Here we uh, go. Religion? Wow, we could have used you yesterday. Religion? Oh, wow, yeah. What's up? What's your religion? religion? Jewish. I would never have figured that. Why? 
he looks like the stereotypical Jew. <laughs> I'm not like Dan everyone says that. Every, people that don't know me walk up to you, oh, you're Jewish. They know right away. Yeah, it's it's still an odd thing. Yeah. It's just people walk up to me and pin a yellow star on me and go, hey, listen, <laughs> you're Jewish. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Don't you come out after 8 at night. <laughs> pretty much, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Solid rules. Why don't yeah. you guys get? Why don't you guys get him uh, like a hot girl? I don't mean like uh, what's her name, Brie Olson, Twato. <laughs> oh God, oh, we could get her. Oh, Sandy uh, Kane. Would no. you? Uh, he would be a good. Uh, well, uh, hello, uh, how, how are you, you? Jew? He would be a good catch for Stalker Patty. Make my like day, Jew. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of Stalker Patty in him. The, oh, Patty in the eyes and stuff. You know that a little bit. That kooky look that what, Patty gives everybody. What kind of radio do you want to do? Sports or you know what? Definitely, man. I'm into sports. I'm a big sports fan. Oh, are you? Yeah, maybe also DJ down the road in the future. Yeah. DJ, perhaps. Are right, you a big sports fan? You're going to do the sports today for us after the break. Huge sports fan, man. God, maybe I'm you could hook up fan. with Mad Dog right. and they could call it <laughs> in the Mad Dog. <laughs> <laughs> call it what in the Mad Dog? <laughs> uh, you want me to repeat? Are you crazy? Just read his lips because... Read his lips because he still has to say the word. I got word. it, I got it, I got it. This guy's insane. I didn't say crap. Yeah, right. Beat yeah, the same yeah. All right. All right. David's doing the sports. David, you're going to do the sports after the break. You got to make it uh, two to three minutes top. Am I writing the sports? You're doing it all, my friend. Yeah, out of the paper. You got you 10 minutes. You got to think quick on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm writing the sports report? You got, yeah. Yeah, you're writing and performing it. You, just gave you got the football. Hope he just gave it a ball. <laughs> roll with it, baby. You roll with it, my friend. All right. You're going to be heard by uh, about, uh, over a million people. Oh, tens of people. Nice. Tens of people, sure. Tell Kong he was a big hero of yours on Weekend Update. Yeah, definitely. Uh, SNL. I'm a big oh, fan yeah. of Saturday Night Live. So probably meeting me is probably shaking you in your boots to meet the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you're a big celebrity. See that? That'll go away fast. <laughs> now, do you feel like kind of a quiet contempt for Norton that he shouldn't even be on radio and somehow he jumped in on this and he's just a nobody comic jersey? <laughs> why, why, wow. Why don't you let him answer for himself? <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to is that how he's brought up on stage? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to bring I was trying to bring him. But you're leading him. You're putting words <laughs> yeah, in don't that's, that's He gives not, him the question and the answer. That's not true. <laughs> I know. We, have to, we do have to break, guys. We're like 15 minutes late for a break. Though. Oh, yeah. David, Colin's question. What's your answer? <laughs> about about uh, Norton. Yes. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I don't even remember. It's a long. Oh question. boy, you're on. Well, Jimmy's yes, close enough Oy for me. <laughs> You'd never want to be on Jimmy's bed. Hey, you should see that the bets bad. today. Hey, hey, they're unbelievable. Hey, hey, thank hey, God hey. I don't bet, but uh, you know, once in a while, hey, good food, plenty of it. Okay, when you do the sports, all we uh, request is you, you throw in a bunch of hey, 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 hey. Yankees. Do it, do it up for they're having a hard time this season, the Yankees. They always get the choke at the end. <laughs> hey, we had British Bob, who wasn't British. Yeah. yeah, that's all we ask. You're a big sports fan. You're doing the sports report after the break. You have to do it as a stereotypical Jew. Yeah, like that's a... No problem. Have. Yeah. Got it. A few. Uh, 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 the Yankees. I can do it. All right, we're going to do that after the break. You <laughs> go. You only have 10 minutes, Yeah, my there you go. Run. Yeah, Run. He, and he's off. Oh, David, that's great. Right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, this kid's going to be a, nice a break. This kid's going to be a treat. We do have to take a quick break here. No, I'm saying you're giving him a break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah nice. But, Definitely. But uh, he's got to do it our way. Right. We have this guy, He Bob from Jersey. Did you hear Bob from Jersey? Oh, when Bob was a pale, Bob's a pale, pale, skinny, tall kid with weird teeth and kind of odd looking. He looked like he could have been part of the royal family. Like, yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Like, like the bad side where like the jeans didn't match up too good. He had rosacea. Yeah. He, had, he had big ears and, and, and just big like, teeth. And rosy, wide open eyes. rosy red cheeks on a pale face. So we forced him to talk British the entire time he was here as an intern and he was horrid at it <laughs> he couldn't do it no so now we got david and he's gonna be doing bob's sports. your uncle right he's gonna be doing sports as a, a stereotypical well. Jew after the break and then we got more with uh, colin quinn who's uh yes. giving us a little pep today colin i like colin in the studio i like yeah. the off the phone and in the studio colin get That's him right. out from his uh shut-in life that he's got yeah you don't look so sad you look no. good you look good colin well i feel good <laughs> I got a good joke. Nice. Oh damn! You look like a million bucks, hmm. all green and wrinkly. <laughs> Christ! Can we just you know, step aside? Joke. You have a great Ugh. joke. <laughs> go, go! It's the Opie and Anthony show. The show. Colin Quinn giving us some energy this morning. 
I have a real shot in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> shot somewhere else, too, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey. We got... Uh, hey. Somebody tell me what's going on in Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> I can't wait for David's sports report. Me neither. David. As a stereotypical Jew. And I wonder if he's going to mention the fact that Brady is out for the year. You'd all be dead if it wasn't for my son, David. Oh, God. Oh, my. Could he have been Independence more? Day. I know. Yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, Air Force One. Could he? Could Judd Hirsch have been a, a more? That was an anti-Semitic performance. I agree. It was just a a parody of a Jewish guy. I know. Horrid. It almost makes you admire whoever the director was. He's like, listen, this movie's <laughs> this movie's not uh, Schindler's List. We're just trying to hit everybody that hates you, people. So soup it up a little, Judd. Yeah, come on, Judd. And he goes, "There's an extra fifty in it for you." Really, uh, get Jewy on us, could you? Yeah. yeah. Hey, huh? I, I took a picture of our new intern, David. It's up on OwenDayRadio.com. I, I I had to see him, you know, preparing for his sports report. Walked into the office, and there he is sitting at my desk. I'm like, ah, he's sitting at your desk. Look at that. There that's he is. that's uh, it. They Mother effort. Look at that. Mother effort. No good deed goes unpunished. You give him a break, <laughs> and he starts to take it That's on. it. And isn't mm. that just like them in some ways? It at least was, that's what people say at my meeting. It was an open seat, so I took it. <laughs> Why, he's not using it. <laughs> if after the show he's using it, I get up. He's inside. <laughs> what am I, chop liver? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a picture in, in, in Anthony's trophy room <laughs> of an old uh, trophy room. of an old SS general with David's grandfather. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I would never I'm a fan of the era. Hey, the Dave. entire era. <laughs> David's gonna be here in a few minutes. Uh, you never heard that one before? No. Uh, no. Let's let's do the let's do the Nazi story and then it, then it rolls perfectly into it, David's it, it, Oh, report. does it? No. Jesus. <laughs> Well, a lot of uh, well, Jewish lot people of are. Yes, yeah, well, a lot of Jewish people well, are upset. Rather well, have the Treaty of Versailles rolled perfectly into Nazi <laughs> Germany. Treaty of Versailles. Yeah, we'll segue from that into a blitzkrieg. Yeah. <laughs> how it's how how Kristallnacht segued yeah. perfectly. Well, yeah, join us for Kristallnacht on the Turk and Rooster Show. Come for the Kristallnacht. Stay for the extermination. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what? Holy Jesus. Is Colin? this Colin Quinn? We were tr- He's been in mainstream movies. <laughs> Where the hell is going on? We were just having fun, man. Yeah. We had to take it over the top. Like yeah. yeah. What's wrong with you? Anything to get away from Pacino and De Niro. Oh, you mean, you mean ah, Turk and Rooster. Turk and Rooster. It's the Turk and Rooster Show. Turk and Rooster. Yeah, Turk and Rooster. Yeah. Turk and Rooster in the morning. <laughs> we got promos. Do a morning show. Don't get to sleep. <laughs> Norton's been awfully quiet today, and I don't like it. Why? Well, oh. I'm tired, Carl. My it's sleep. Creepy. Oh, my sleep has been topsy turvy. Yeah. Don't get me going. <laughs> did you? Uh, did you scrap thinking of uh, Bree? Oh, good question. Last Before night. I got home, <laughs> <In> Columbus Circle, <laughs> <laughs> angrily staring at traffic. His car skidding, hitting a slick. Yeah. <laughs> How could you not? Yeah. It's the Turk. Oh, Turk, you're a loose cannon! Rooster Show. There you go. No rooster. <laughs> oh, God, stop it! No, we're not No, done. we can't. We <laughs> Colin can't. is so upset with this. We can't stop. Hey. If he really thinks that he has a connection with De Niro, we're going to spoil it. Ah, going to ruin it, yeah. No, that's not Shut enough. Shut up, it is it. Shh. We got, it? We, got the, uh, we got the Nazi story. Let's play this, Anthony. It's uh, they're, they're trying to rename that fine stadium down there in uh, Jersey. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen to this. Construction trucks roll today at the new Giants and Jets Stadium. But before the thing is even built, there is controversy. Should a company with Nazi ties in the past have the right to name the stadium? Yeah, I just disagree with it. Totally. I don't think that that's right. The company that Nobody wants cares its name you here <laughs> is Allianz. Back during World War II, it was the largest insurance company in Germany. They insured the concentration camp Auschwitz. You they insure that. a lot of insurance policies of... Um, Jews who died, and they denied paying out to their survivors. I'm from the Holocaust Insurance Company of Walla Walla, Washington. (laughs) You need insurance. What the hell kind of insurance does a concentration camp get? (laughs) That is... Alliance Insurance. (laughs) It's it's kind of... I don't know. They make it sound like there's going to be a big, you know, logo on the stadium. A big swastika on the stadium. Yeah. 
it's going to look like Nuremberg in 38 yeah. or something. Oh. It's just, I mean. They it, want you to file into the stadium a certain way every Yes, of every course. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I wish Voss was here to. Uh, right now, he'd jump in and try to make a point. You know, uh, the insurance you know, I the Jew, they, they, they didn't give uh, payouts. <laughs> you know, a lot of stolen artwork. Here's the thing. <laughs> there is no thing. I heard that new stadium is beautiful, but I heard yeah. when they tell you to hit the showers, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, don't. Since then, the company has made restitution. Today, it's involved in banking, insurance, asset management with thousands of employees. It's headquartered in Munich. The company sponsors various sporting events. The company was willing to put up big bucks to slap its name on the new stadium. Reportedly, 20 to $30 million per year. But there are those who say there is no price high enough to erase the company's past. I'm sure uh, Giants and Jets would not have a problem finding another sponsor. The Yankees mm. could do it. They already have those pinstripes like the uh, old... Whoa! <laughs> Wait, why don't they just yeah, and rename Yankee Stadium that? Wow. <laughs> a lot of controversy. What do you yeah, think? He just got a base Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we have a Jewish sports reporter to handle this. Yes. What do you, uh, you think is going to happen? Um, I think they'll bow to the pressure and, and not be able to uh, put their name on it, even though, I mean, people drive Volkswagens. Volkswagen was a uh, yeah, you know, supplier of uh, uh, motor vehicles to uh, Nazis. And uh, how about uh, Mitsubishi? People buy those. They built Zeros that uh, killed many, many people. And if you're the Japanese. An, if you're an insurance company, what are you going to tell Hitler? We're not going to carry your policy? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Hitler. Yeah. And meanwhile, Brendan denied. Byrne was the biggest Nazi of them all, in my opinion. They Brendan Byrne. <laughs> Brendan Byrne Arena. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> old school. Oh, oh Jimmy, you all right? Oh, I've been better. I've been better. All right. Yeah, that's a little silly. I mean, you Kenny, know, how's your World War II date? How's your protege? Just, Kenny's helping uh, oh. young David write the uh, stereotypical Jew sports report. He's a remarkable young lad, and I think you'll be pleased. Yeah. Is he almost ready? He, we're about halfway there. Halfway there? All right, we'll yeah. do it uh, during the next prayer. break. We'll do yeah. it uh, the next break. Yeah, All you right. need is love. John Lennon said that. Right after man, the next break. Man right. shot him in the back. Yeah. Oh, ew. Is that from Independence Day? Of course. Because ah! I still see love there. It's true. And then the woman kind of looks and goes, you know, well. And she goes, All you need is love. John Lennon said that. Uh, he was killed. Man shot him in the back. I don't how know do you why remember that? So, why is that it, so horrible? How do you it's remember annoying. The it's an, I've seen Independence Day 8 billion times. I've seen it once. I fall asleep to the same movies over, over and over again because if I put a new movie on, then I'm going to be caught up in it. So I put on the same five movies. Gladiator, Alien, or Aliens. Oh, I wouldn't watch that before I went to bed. I have nightmares. Ooh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ant needs the TV on. Independence Day. When he falls asleep. because he doesn't And want to uh, now the prestige. That's what it is. He doesn't want to confront himself. No. Of course, well, who wants to? You lay there with your own mind? <laughs> well, Stop. <laughs> staring at the ceiling with horrific things going through your head. <laughs> so instead you have aliens running? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we're doomed. It's great. A gladiator. It's fantastic. Who's this from? Are you crazy? What? I, 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 you know how you said blank in the Mad Dog? There's, there's. What do you? It's beeped. It's beeped. All right. Oh boy, I, I wouldn't play this without pre-listening to it. Well, get ready on the yeah. dump button. Oh, that's Christ. what I do. We, we right. take chances on this show. Let me. <sighs> Who gives a crap? We have enough money. <laughs> no, no, we, no don't. we don't. No, we don't. It's like someone was spending a little. Uh, yeah, I, I bought a nice I. house out on Long Island and uh, had a yard done. I, like to say, I bet Anthony's house has like a Houdini, like secret trap doors and stuff. Dude, does it best? Dude, I got a defense closet. Look at Anthony on the beat button. I'm on the dump button. I'm Here ready to go. shut this show down. I'm ready to shut right. it down. Right. Man right. shot him in the back. Uh, let's see. All let's you see. need is love. Let's see this. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, Good oh, Sabbath, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, he's going to be on the satellite in the very near future. Monday, I, I think he starts. Yep. Hey, that's pretty good for the 
for the local audience. Very nice. That's the worst theme song ever. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da! I think it's kind of peppy. Yeah. Take him home and try him. Oof. Oof. Should you? <laughs> Take him home and try him? Is that really what you that know, a lot of top But he got in the fridge. A lot of Not top literally. executives <laughs> get in the room. What's that? A lot of top executives get in the room. You shouldn't criticize that and think, mm -hmm. what could really mm -hmm. welcome our audience to this person? Mm. You make uh, a lot Idiots. of sense. Yeah, Colin makes a good point. It's under his hat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, got, I got something for Colin today. Oh. oh. oh I know who it is. Anthony Show. Anthony Show. Obi and Anthony's top song of the day. Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. <laughs> Just turn around now. Is that remote control? Nice. Ew. I want you to want to try to hurt me with goodbye. I don't even sound that different. It was 20 years ago. Oh, no, not I. I will survive. I will survive. I sound the same. And then yes. you had to, do, you yeah. know, sing the rest smoked. of the song with Colin. Yeah, you had to finish it. Yeah, sing but along I with Colin. I smoked at the time. That was a problem. I oh, is that it? Control. You didn't? How did you no. never see remote control? I just didn't. I just, Where I were you? It was just the kind of show he would have watched too. It's like the that, yeah. age. I, I loved remote control. Huh? And uh, I really, loved you know, it. our own Tim was on remote control. Really? Oh yeah. And well, so what, was Earl. Equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tim has a remote control story. Tim was on remote control, and so was uh, Earl. You know the Black guy, Earl. the guy that does the oh no. Yeah, no, we haven't had that on the show in a while, but that guy was on remote I control. Saw the, uh, I saw show, the clip. My name is and Earl. he won. <laughs> <laughs> He won. He won uh, one of those crappy job. cars you used to give away. One of those hey, little... Mitsubishi Montero, man. It was a Mitsubishi Montero. It was a good car. Was it? Yes. <laughs> Does he Mitsubishi still have it? Montero. <laughs> you, had that, you had that animal on there. Who? Oh, God, was I in love with her. Who? Uh, K K uh, Kari Wurr. Kari wow, Wurr. Was I in love with her back yeah, in the day. she was hot. Ah, back ever, in the day. You ever do her in those no, LA, was... LA Gear sneakers you gave away? <laughs> 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 oh, was I a fan? Boy, these guys I was such a fan. Uh, most people that watch that show were potheads, though. You guys were oh, potheads. Oh, yeah. A lot of Smoke a lot of weed. Watch Colin. It was uh, Ken Adam Ol Sandler. Yeah, Ken Olber. Norton was too busy writing those love letters. I loved that the other day. Oh, God. Ugh. About the girl you were talking about. Wow, you wrote the letter to the girl. Oh. Well, it, yeah, uh, the stories really in Walking girl. By with the boombox with Iron Man playing. Yeah, if you want to know who I am, oh. wear the scarf. That's great. She wore it. Wear the scarf and she wore it. And then it's like, now what? What's the next step? But, now I got to walk up. But I'm, I'm such a douche. And, one of the, and I didn't mention this. <laughs> oh, good. The, one of the Aussie quotes I put in <laughs> to one of the letters. I can't, I can't listen. Was, uh, it was in Spanish. So Ooh. she had to figure it out. But it was the name of an Aussie album. Ugh! <laughs> what what was it? The Speak of the Devil. So whatever that quote is. Something like... Uh, uh, <laughs> Habla Olo Diablo uh, Diablo uh, Habla Diablo I'll believe you Whatever you say whatever. Oh Wow Well you tried to But why would you put a quote Speak wow. of the devil in That the was middle? the name of his album But why would you put that As a quote oh, like Jesus. Significant to her Is what I mean Hey Colin She would know it was me But I didn't want to say it was me <laughs> Right but would you pick Something a little more romantic Why are you asking me now Like I should logically Have gone through this Yeah Why would I walk by Playing Iron Man Thinking she'd run out And just, fall in love with just me Just imagine her kid. Just imagine her crestfallen face on oh. her scarf when she goes, oh, no, it's you. Picture oh, the captain no. of the football team. <laughs> I never told her. The QB from the football team. Look at Colin. Yeah, why are we oh talking about God. that when we got video of Colin playing from remote control like back theory. in 1989? Wearing the same glasses like uh, that I was wearing in my dumb video yeah. demo. Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> what are the guests? Yeah, I know. Chairs go back? Yeah, the chairs would fly backwards, tip over. Oh my God! Well, lucky no one got hurt. I don't like the fact that Newton says I look like Lee. Hold on, this time is a yeah, bitch. That's why I said it. This Kari, she now has three kids. Plays Kimberly on Lincoln Heights. Oh Christ! ABC's Family oh, she's Channel. On Lincoln Heights. Three kids. Three kids. She's on Lincoln Heights. Look at me. Ah, oh, you're singing now. Wow! Really... Look at those clothes. See the, see, the pants are <laughs> supposed Jesus. to be up high. But you're, you're wearing, wearing a shirt from the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> you know what the sad thing is? That was the least embarrassing outfit I ever wore in that show, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm looking at that shirt right now going, thank God it's not one of those orange numbers I used to wear. Yeah. Right you're, you're, still wearing, got those. you're wearing a kid and play uh, shirt there. Colin. Yeah, well, it was that. Look time. at I young know. Colin. I understand. It was the, it was the uh, fashion. All right, we got to take a break because we got David doing the stereotypical. Uh, my Ober. son, David. Ken. Jewish sports. Ken Ober. Ken's a funny dude. Who you brought to a uh, tough crowd. Yeah. I went to a tape and I'm like, holy crap, it's yes. Ken Ober from Remote Control. You act like when we get to Washington, it won't uh, be there. Man you. shot him in the back. Uh, Air Force One, this is nice. 
It's like things are blowing up, idiot. You have no concept that that's happening. Mm. Mm. What was that supposed to Let's be? Let's all like? sit down. Hold my hands. We'll sit down and pray. Who but is? I'm not Jewish. That's okay. Everybody isn't perfect. Who's the man in front of the new stadium that's sending the women and children to one side and the men to another? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This device angel. <laughs> this man needs a doctor. If he cuts his throat, he tries to get oh, help. It's him. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing marathon. Man. Uh, oh, marathon know, man. So well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My bad. I love that this man needs help. He cuts his throat. He just cut his throat. Uh, is there a doctor here? He's running away with <laughs> stolen diamonds. He cuts the guy's throat and then tries to get medical assistance. Fantastic. We got a break. Yeah, we got a break. Um, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, don't fret. Will. We got David, our new intern, doing stereotypical Jew sports That's after the break. <laughs> okay. Colin Quinn here. And let's take a look at the FU line. It's Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony show with Colin Quinn. And Jim Norton is just back from his censor in his new job as a censor. Oh, just checking things out, Carl. <laughs> and now Ken Oba. But the quiz master in 72 will be called late. <laughs> you know what? My new job is a censor. What am I going to do? Stand up in Boston all the time? Ah, is that a tough town for censorship in 1950? No, I'm just saying <laughs> I'm going to be there on November 15th. In the oh, that's right. Show Second show, show is still not sold out. I, it went on sale yesterday. Brand new. They, 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 they added the second show because the first show sold out. It wasn't like the yeah, had his hand on his hog right. Jim's got his hand on his hog right now. Not hog. Let's just say I'm strangling something like a noose. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are your testicles twisted the wrong way or something? No. no Don't get him in an uproar. Why wouldn't you? Oh, yes. We got a couple things. Kenny, stay there because Kenny uh, observed something. We're, we're getting the sports report together with the new intern, David. Yes. The stereotypical Jew sports reports. My David. Out. And uh, Kenny ran in here with some info. What was that, Kenny? No, the uh, <laughs> guys that we're sharing the office with next door. We're see. not sharing the office with anyone. Well, they, they are like invaded our space. Yes. What? Invaded our space. <sighs> yeah, there, there's, there's a wall between us and the CBS studio yeah. that's paper thin, obviously, and they're mad at us now? Yeah, because while we were writing the uh, sports bit and laughing and joking and talking loud. Kibitzing. Right. Doing what you're supposed to do when you're doing a morning show and uh, maybe producing a bit. Right. Like having some laughs. Yeah. We were asked to be respectful of their on-air light because they were doing a somber 9-11 report. It's 9-12. Yeah. Stop capitalizing. We Stop all know what it. happened. You want... You want and, and another thing, how many times have we been in there for show prep in the morning? You're trying to prep for a morning uh, uh, show where we were trying to be funny and laugh, and, and they're playing the moldy oldies through the wall loud. Really loud. Like, really loud. It's not our fault they didn't soundproof the goddamn studio. Who's, well, who's, who's, who's the engineer here? Who, be, who did this? People be, that who? don't know. Well, well they should have had my David do it. To play this devil's advocate, it doesn't sound like their request was all that unreasonable. Yes, it was. Oh, <laughs> shut up, Colin. <laughs> Colin. You're a douche. <laughs> you really are. It's not unreasonable. It's not. Hey, should we have Erod go in there and remind him it's September 12th and not September 11th? Uh, I mean, why not? Erod, comparing get e prepping for a morning show when they're playing. Music. Colin, this gets really, that is, that this is gets so really uncomfortable. Just, hold on, hold on. Erod, yeah. are you willing to uh, remind them that it's uh, September 12th and not September 11th? Okay. You've been in on what's been going on? Uh, they're mad at us because they're doing some kind of September 11 news thing while we're trying to have fun. Don't okay. they play music? What are they doing in the right. news? All right. Do we have a long microphone? Just go, hey, I hear you're mad at us because we're laughing as we're trying to do a bit for the Opie and Anthony show. Okay. What was the problem? Careful. And, the, and they're going to say something like, well, we were doing a somber <laughs> September 11th And then just story. yell, it's September 12th yeah, and slam it. the door. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Anthony gave you the direction. Okay. <laughs> E-Rock likes to do this from time to time. Yeah. Actually, we force him to do this. Yeah. It's the CBS FM. It's an oldie station that should just die already. Hey, it does very well. All right, here we go. Iraq. Wait, why can't we get his mic? Why can't we hear? How about someone turns the mic on? Yeah, what happened? What happened? To the audio in this thing. Couldn't hear crap. I couldn't yeah. hear... Well, yeah, great. It's wor It wasn't working when we needed them. It stretched as far as it'll go, I think. I don't think... Eric. No, the other one. I blame Sam. 
Oh, mm. forget it. I blame happened? Steve. What happened? They had a guy jump out the back end of the studio to um, remove me from the door and shut the door for me because he's going on the air. Yeah. He's coming out of uh, what some song? disco song. <laughs> a disco song. That's great. Disco and, oh, Brick House. Gloria Gaynor. Oh, oh brick she's a brick. House. She's my tomato. Just letting it all hang out. She's a brick. Sorry. Awful so, song. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> the guy shuts the door and he said he was doing a report on September 11th, a news report on September 11th. When we know what happened. Really loud. But they left the back door of the studio open because there's two doors to their studio. So I walked around the guy to the second door and yelled, <laughs> it's September 12th, not September 11th. And then he comes running over and slams that door, too. Yeah, mm. they, don't, they don't like us too much. How come? Which is fine. But they, that one on the I don't know why so. they put their dumb studio right next to our right office. Right there. It's, yeah. it, it, doesn't, it doesn't gel well. Put it down the hall. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. All right. Uh, Why does Sam look like he's doing a documentary about Orleans in 1977? <laughs> Orleans. <laughs> still the one. You're doing a still the one joke. Uh, That's pretty brilliant, though. Hey, <laughs> we got me later to do my smokers impression. Hey, I, I quit smoking. <laughs> remind me. Oh, I like this new bit. I put the microphone on my neck and I pretend that I have a voice box. That's Leary's bit. Yeah. Is it? No, I Actually, think it was Louis C.K.'s. Or Bill... Linger longer. Or Bill Hicks's bit. Mm. Oh, no, it's mine. Oh. Let's do voice box radio. I do it on the left side of my neck. They did the right I side. Like ah, there, there I like There, therein lies the difference. It's the boy. subtle differences. Anyone notice that uh, this uh, this David? Oh God! Writes, damn, it's a hostage note on my. Uh, writes, oh my God! He writes just this? like David Berkowitz, who was kidnapped. This is son of Sam writing. That is. Dude, this should have symbols at like, the end it of like, it and and be sent to the newspapers. This is the note they found in John Benet Ramsey's house. <laughs> Wow. It looks like a Cyrillic. Underneath the little cowboy hat. I'll get a picture of this for the website. This is creepy. Uh, David, the young uh, intern, is doing the sports report today, and he wrote a script that is, uh, the writing is extremely creepy. It really is wow. unbelievable. I write creepy, but this is bad. Yeah, this that is, is some, This is frightening. Uh, scary writing. Can you see that? Yeah. It looks uh, like. That's the note. I guarantee that's the note. That's like, I'm very sorry to cause anyone a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a... <laughs> If you're looking for dad, he's in the basement. Mom is upstairs. She was asleep when I came in with the shotgun. This, this is what goes on the podium during the statement to the victim's family. <laughs> wow. This is exactly what sits up there. Um, this is, yeah. I am very... <laughs> it's like a serial killer wrote this. Yeah. And that's who we're looking for. Yeah. I need Turk to hey, help me. What do you think it would sound like if... Ron Reagan had a voice box. Well, well, <laughs> where are you? Well, <laughs> let the garbage out there down in the wall. <laughs> Come on with the Jew news already. Yeah, the let's go. bombing starts in five minutes. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, sp Jesus speaking of the person they hit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. We need to go. But it's a, this is going to be stereotypical uh, Jew sports with David, right? Yay! Yes. All right, well, let's start the music first. Colin, why don't you give the big intro? Is he I our first like, Jewish um, we're intern? Like, we're like doing a play in our basement. Colin, you're going to be yeah, the announcer, all right. right? Here's the music. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with sports my son, David. David. Hey, David. David. Here comes David up to the microphone. Shalom. This is B.D. Dave with your Jewish sports report. Oy vey, do the Yankees suck. <laughs> the end is near for the New York Yankees, and they should be eating their matzo brai for good luck. <laughs> there are only 10 games left ever at Yankee Stadium, and it looks like Joe Girardi's first season and the end of Yankee Stadium will end in disappointment. A-Rod should be shaking his kugel right about now. <laughs> As for the New York Mets, with 17 games left to play, they are three games up on the Phillies. I'd love to see the Mets circumcise the Phillies. <laughs> I know a good Moyo that could take care of that one. Sure you do. The Mets play the Gentile Atlanta Braves tonight. <laughs> Oiga Volt, will that be a blowout? <laughs> the Mets are going to whoop their tuckus. 
In other sports news, uh, turning to football right now, it looks as though the new Giants and Jets stadium is going to be funded by a company with allegedly strong Nazi ties. You know how us Jews feel about the Nazis. Patui! <laughs> In more football news, after their shaky opening game win, the Giants opening to sp are hoping to spin the St. Louis Rams like a dreidel <laughs> this weekend. The Giants are going to sack Rams quarterback Mark Bolger and hit him so hard he'll be dominating on the field. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, if I may just say, I want to give a shout out to the Shiksa tennis player who won the U.S. Open this past weekend. Congratulations to her. Well, I'm BD Dave, and this has been your Kosher Sports Report. Mazel tov, biatches. Wow. Oh, he pulled it off. I, uh, I like nice. it. Our new intern, Dave. Oy vey, was that great. Wow. That was good. <laughs> Very proud of my son, David. That was beautiful. <laughs> that should be the name of it, Kosher Sports. Kosher yes, sports. Kosher oh, Sports. David, you got a bit. Most you got interns, a bit. Most interns don't get a bit. Hip-Hop hip Ronnie's been here for years, and he barely has a bit. Right. David, come here. I want to bestow an honor upon you that I have never done. Please. I'll tell you what Don't Ron worry, it's safe. Do. Kenny. It's safe. You should make one. I, I am taking this off oh. on your first day we know your name. It is David. It is David. You no longer need a name tag. You it's, don't need any. You don't need any identification on your clothing any longer. No, no. Well, I was thinking of something else up there, but <laughs> nah, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> we could do kosher sports, kosher news, and That's kosher. Nice. Yes, <laughs> kosher everything. We have David. He's I think my good. brother might have to make a T-shirt for you, David. Hey, good one. Hey. Good one. <laughs> Uh, very good. <laughs> I mean, we could push it through some entertainment. I don't know. What do you think? Should we push it today, guys? One more? I would leave it for now. Yeah, all right. Do yeah. it Monday. It you good, too though. many cooks spoiled the Monday. Board. He's got to be home soon, right? Friday? <laughs> Is it Russia Homa? I was a Jew too. I'm over here now. I'm acting like an Italian, but I'm a Jew. Shabbos. I gotta be home for the Shabbos. Oh. Timing. Oh, I'm the Shabbos. Now. Oh boy. Oh, right boy. through answer. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, huh? The wheels are falling off already. Get <laughs> back! I'll put the tag back on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dave. It's okay, David. You did a fine job, David. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's David. No one would have had any laughs if it wasn't for my son, David. <laughs> Man shot him in the back. I bet his hand went up when he said it that. It did. Time. He was like, well, well dog. Shot him in the back. Oh, yeah, let's hear that clip. Judd Hirsch from uh, Independence Day taking it a little over the top as the Jewish dad of, uh, what's his name there? Uh, yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. I didn't get a chance to thank you, too. All he can think of was getting to you. There's still love there, I think. Uh, love was never a problem. All you need is love. John Lennon, smart man, shot in the back, very sad. Shot in the back, very sad. First, it wasn't shot in the back, was no. he? No, shot in yes, the he was. What? Was he? But he turned around. Chapman really put it to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have the my son David? Mark David. Oh, okay. All right, here's another one. Yep. Can't this thing go any faster? Well, you think they don't know what you know? They know. Believe me, they know. She works for the president. They know everything. She works. They don't know this. Oh, oh, oh. You're going to educate them, huh? Look at these. Look at these people. Look. Huh? Vultures. They take and then they go. They're going. They're going faster than we are. Look at this. Well, we're in the fast I, lane. I can't go faster. They're cutting me off here. No they one's cutting you off. Yeah, we're going to get a ticket. They're getting in front of me. I can't go any faster. All right, all right. I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. There's alien ships uh, over. I don't think he's getting a ticket. <laughs> yeah, he should have oh. took his taxi there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, now look at this. The vultures. The vultures. He just, he, he might, he studied for that role looking at old Nazi footage, <laughs> uh, propaganda footage that Goebbels put out. Right. <laughs> old posters. <laughs> oh, that is a little over the top there, Judd. Yeah. Mm. But I like the way that they showed that the blacks and Jews could work together. That was a cool message there, I thought. Oh, oh when they... About yeah. Will Smith and Jeff they've been Well, that, that was good. They've been trying to push that message for 50 years. Yeah. That was a good one, though. I think that that kind of resonated. And yeah. then when the uh, Israeli Air Force is getting ready for the raid, when they bring the shields down on the ship, and uh, 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 one of the um, 
uh, Egyptian guys come in, a pilot, and starts talking to them, and they're all pals. I like everyone. That. The Russians are in it. The Japanese, everybody, because the Koreans. No, the uh, only bad people are white males. Right. That's exactly right. Christian white males. The great evil. Bad in society and media. Bad Everything. people. Look, I bet one's driving this car right here. Oh, I oh, <laughs> uh, guess not. <laughs> Gee, I was wrong. <laughs> I just saw a car chase, and and someone got out, and ooh, what a surprise. Pretty impressive video, though. Oh, that is a good one. He's driving ooh. against traffic for a little bit. He was doing real-life Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. He's driving yes. against traffic on the highway, just jumps out of his car, starts running. Yeah. I got, like, three stars on me. Um, yes, they caught him. Oh, readily. But he's in Dutch. I think they tased him, too. <laughs> yeah, they a, did tase him. Yeah, they he tased got a good tasing. Him. Where was that? Florida, Miami. Let's go to Josh. Mm-hmm. Oi, Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, what's going on? Josh? Hey, morning, my boy. Good morning, Josh. Hey, I think you should make David wear those passes like all the Jews in Bedford Stein <laughs> and uh, over there oh. at the and whatnot. Well, that's the beauty of radio. You can picture what uh, you know David looks like yeah. when he does the kosher sports. Yeah. Oh, but with open eye, though. We don't have much of a budget as far as, uh, you yeah, know, wardrobe so goes. You pick, up, people. You pick right. up the latest copy of Union Rat. Oh. And then will give you whatever picture. <laughs> make him grow pay us, though. That would be kind of funny. Yeah. If we make him grow pay us and uh, wear uh, one of the hats. Not a, not a yarmulke, one of the big, like, hats. Yeah, that, that could be funny. Or it could also be considered uh, tantamount to a... <laughs> <laughs> what, like some kind of a hate crime? I was going to say, maybe you guys don't remember. You were talking about it yesterday. Remember the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral thing? Oh, yeah. This oh, would be yeah. the uh, shul thing. incident. The, the, shul, <laughs> the shul incident. <laughs> We're just very excited. We, feel we like, like David. We feel, like we, have a, we feel like we have a really strong bit fight. I love that bit. And we haven't you know had what? a strong bit in a while. We're, we're, we're bringing other uh, ethnic backgrounds to our show. That's good. 40 minutes into it, let's tie it up nicely. Like, this is why we were doing it for higher mo Because that's the clip they'll play on the news. Diversity <laughs> yes. is what this show is about. As we sit here, all white men. Watch it, looking at a picture of John Cena. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, diversity is our goal here on the Opie and Anthony Show. Whether it's white men. We want diversity. <laughs> Whether it's tall white men or short white men. <laughs> fat white men or thin white men. Uh, uh, too good. Yeah, you guys are about as diverse as a ski lift. <laughs> oh, hey. a lot of white men on those. That's stupid because the ski lifts are not diverse at all. Oh, you oh, little, little Jim. Jim. I knew there was something hey. wrong with that bit, but <laughs> I, until you pointed it out, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gene Shallot. Did I ever tell you when I used to drink 100 years ago, Gene Shallot was once at a bar, was sitting with a girl, and I walked in there. Really? In Midtown, I was trying to be like Mr. Manhattan. I thought I was going to be an actor, but I was a drunken fool. And I woke up to the table, <laughs> I go, hey, how you doing, whore? To the guy, to Gene Shallot, I go, and he's going, wait a wait a I go, you're a whore. You told me to see Police Academy, and that movie stunk. You whore. Give you me my money back. You said that to him? And they had to drag me out. Yeah. What a nut. You were drunk. I was a, I was a blocker, too, actually, because you were sitting with some girl. A sea blocker. <laughs> I you, you whore. whore. Give me my money back. Give me I started running, lunging for him. They dragged me what, out. What, are you trying to pull his mustache off while you're at it? What the hell's wrong with <laughs> you? Know, Colin, my you're God. You're a critic bully. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Did you punch Ebert in the brain? <laughs> Almighty, what's the matter with you? A uh, handful of pudding when you do We got our first uh, complaint. What happened? Our first complaint. No. As far as our new bit goes. Oh, come on. Uh, who's this? Hello? Yes. Who's this? Hi. Hey, it's Elad from Brooklyn. Hi, Elad. Elad, how are you? I'm all right. Listen, at first it was funny and everything, but now you're taking callers, and now it's just, just becoming a joke. It was a joke. No, about the... Yeah, that was what? a joke. It was about joke. what? No, about the guy calling with the payers and everything like that. I mean... Just messed up, you know. Hey, we well, not, we, sir, we knocked him down. The guy called up. What do you want us to do? He yeah. called up. He said he doesn't work for us. He called the show. Don't take his call. How do we know what he's going to say? We're not mind readers. Oh my you goodness! You have a guy screening your call. Yes, but we don't. He, when the guy screens the crease, how it works? We don't know exactly what you're going to say. We just know we got a complaint. He's a party pooper, Colin. Look how sad we're getting now. What's I'm the not matter? A party pooper. Listen, I think it's funny. Are you are you, are, are you of the Jewish I'm, persuasion, sir? I'm sorry? Are you of the Jewish persuasion? Yes, he's yeah. Israeli. His name you're, is very, you're very oversensitive. No, but he's got a point. Let me just explain. I'm not oversensitive. I thought that was very funny, the whole bit. But 
But you're mad about the caller. He's afraid that people are going to take it in an ugly direction. We like David. Got it. But the guy who called up, sir, is the guy who called up. We can't stop a guy from calling up. I didn't know what he was. Stupid. I didn't know what he was. Well, he's right. You're being disingenuous. We like our David. Stop it, David. Stop it, Elad. We like David. All right, then. (laughs) All right, Elad. Say hi to the boys. Okay, man. All right. The boys. The boys. The boys. Uh, they, 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 I, uh, I, I, uh, that camera store, uh, B&H. Uh, oh, uh, you know something? I went there once. Love that and, place. And I was shocked to find out that a lot of the... the, the, the They're the, the, They run the place. The the they are fantastic over Hold there. Hold on. I'll tell you this much. They're fans of the show. Yeah. yeah more than one. I know. I, when I go out to check out... They're coming out of the woodwork. I'm like, you guys oh, are Oh, don't say they're coming crap. out of the woodwork. That's... Uh, <laughs> wow, is that anti-Semitic. I really need to go back there and get it. It's an amazing... Get a cannon? My joint. Sony camera oh, I thought you literally needed a cannon for something. <laughs> right? No, I mean oh, a okay. camera. I was being literal Anthony. And you got the same, <laughs> you got the same vibe in there, right? Yeah. These these guys are enjoying the show. Yes, they are. They all know strange. what they're doing. Every one of them. You Very can't, informed. You can't. It's it. You can't steal from there. They have the best security system in the world. Oh well, yeah. Well, we got to explain now. It's all it's conveyor belts above your head. You can't touch head. the merchandise. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's all behind glass, and then you buy it, and then next thing you, you see it kind of rocking the conveyor belt. And yeah. then you pay for it, and they hand it to you. Everyone you talk to knows what they're talking Not one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Not one. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. A lot of guys that look like Travis in there. Really? Big yeah, beards? I'm, I'm yeah. serious. There's one right there. Oh, yeah, that guy does look like Travis. <laughs> A lot of Travises in mm-hmm. that joint. And Travis, you're not even Jewish, right? Yeah, you got that look, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jason in uh, New York. Jason. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Jason. I'm Jason from Brooklyn. I'm from Israel. Jewish on both sides. Just wanted to say, man, that was a great bit. And the guy just called up complaining that you guys are taking it too far. That's just totally ridiculous. As a Jew and Israeli really, man, I'm totally proud of the bit you guys did. And David Brock. Yeah. Thank you. We learned something about uh, the acidics today. It's in the paper. Some... Some hot broad is on a bicycle on a on one of Bloomberg's uh, on one of Bloomberg's bike paths, yeah, and <laughs> everyone's uh, outraged because uh, they're driving through the neighborhood, and and the guys aren't allowed to look at that. No, nah, they can't look at like the uh, scantily the clad girls on bicycles. Yeah, look at this, and it, look at this. Yeah, see, she's dri- riding by on the bike. The culture and there's, clash over sexy cyclists. There's like a Hasidic uh, Jew walking behind her, and he's got to ha- turn his head. He turned his head away from her. Which he, yeah, which he's doing just He's that. averting his eyes, and then the woman is looking at her like, oh, she's disgusted. She looks like, uh, disgusted. She looks like Carol Burnett when Carol Burnett used to dress up as the... Uh, the uh, oh, the old cleaning lady. The old cleaning lady. <laughs> that's the woman that's looking at the cyclist in disgust. It's a great mm. picture. We'll, we'll have to get that up on OwenDayRadio.com. How about Fruity Bloomberg stops with the bike paths? Yeah, enough. Stop. Every every road has been cut down in half. That's so good. This, it's not Yuck. good because I drive this yeah. jackass. We're just, we're, it's not a park. It's a major city. It's a city. You see what he did in Times Square where he made a little place to sit and uh, have a coffee? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the seats. It's, it's, it's in mid, the I, middle I, I of Times Opie. Square. You're right. It Thank you. Oh, pedestrians suck. Stop bringing the city into the, the yeah, my way. Here. Sorry we don't want to be a mini mall, you suburban drone. Out of my way. I'm driving. December outside. All yeah. that area is going to be a waste. Wasted Shush. lane. No, it's nice to be a lovely place for the homeless people to sit and harass you. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you're just dope. It's perfect if you walk around this city. He's an nice. idiot. The guy it's doesn't nice. live. It's he doesn't nice. have to live. He doesn't have to live in New York like working people yeah, have no. to live in New York and people that live here and commute and whatever. He, he He's ushered around by security or he takes his bike across the bridge or something every so often with 20 people around him. Well, why don't you admit one thing? Yes. And I'm not even joking. He actually started that silly smoking thing, and the entire he changed the whole world. Dublin, Paris, none of them smoke anymore. They started all that in L.A. Bloomberg didn't start that. No, they oh. didn't. Yes, they I did. was in L.A. at the time. I silly. Th- I thought Bloomberg was the Bloomberg. The first one to be not Jim. Really? He was You're right. Go ahead. No, so he he was maybe uh, th- that whole thing came from L.A. Rob Ryan roll and pushed it so hard. And no, it, just because you watch South Park, you think Rob Ryan started I don't watch it? South Park. Shut <laughs> up. That's what it's from. I don't watch that. Really? Well, I do. It's quite an amusing episode. Oh, they go too far. They really nailed him. <laughs> <laughs> really, but you're right. I mean, he kind of started there, but it officially as a law became the New York and then now Paris. Law. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Everyone was so upset and I up in arms when that happened. The and then it turned out like, wow, you could go to the bar, you hang out, and you don't go home and go, no. oh, God, you, you, oh, your laundry would just stink mm-hmm. like smoke. It's crazy. I love it now. 
Get and out was, inside and smoke. And that was Get Bloomberg? out and smoke. That was Bloomberg started it. And I like the bike idea. I mean, Jim is technically right. Jesus. So do I. I'm a bicyclist. So I, I enjoy I'm, it. I'm not a cyclist wow. myself. I like a, I like a bike lane every once in a while. What's I'm wrong, t- Ant? What's nothing. the wow? Just, uh, the goddamn pal talk. Oof. What happened? Uh, Jane's showing her ass. Let me see that. Holy Christ. Christ. This is ridiculous. What is that? Yeah. I, let, me, let me see it. What she is just this? completely puts the brakes on the show. I see okay, it. I like, yeah. her, I like her tube top. All right, Jen. Uh, no yeah, there, there. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Nice. Uh, I don't like that because the back Jiminy of the thong cricket. disappears between the cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I bet you hate that. God, I want to wear that over my face. Just <laughs> these, around she's pulling it out. These pal bit. talk girls are working against us. They really... Are just they just want us to go away as a radio I, show? I tell you, her heine it, sure is that's, nice. That stuff just she completely stops the shape. show. I only pull up probably two or three cameras a day, mm-hmm. and uh, that's got to be one of them. Yeah, you want to see a nice ass? Yeah, like Jimmy. Oh, oh, now Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm shutting down her cam. I'll be honest with I'm you. just going to look at Jimmy's All ass. Jokes aside, his ass is nice and smooth, and you know he's got a bit. I'm going to tell you something. You got an ass like a ten year old boy that's eating too much. Yeah, <laughs> they call me the elliptical kid. <laughs> and here, kid. Here's the beauty. What a ass. schmo! What? Why? Are you sh- no, I don't. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Jesus. Oh my god! But it was a Jimmy. good lesson, oh which is an god. ass also has a function. Wow! Oh <laughs> With that, let's uh, do this. Colin Quinn, stay right there. <laughs> Colin Quinn doing a good job for us today. It's party time. Give us a little, uh, little pep, a little pep this morning, there, Colin. Well, guys, you know what it is. I love the radio. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Sarah Palin there, Colin? Oh, I'm fine. I don't care. They don't care either way? Yeah, I mean, I like her personally, but I don't like her uh, opinions really on anything. Yeah. You know, I like the her opinions I really on guns. do hate. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, you'd love that to be in a helicopter tra- tracing, you know, tra- oh. wolves shooting them. Tracer rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> RPGs, that whatever it takes fun. to bring down a moose. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard because I hate, I really have to say, I, I feel like there's both of these parties, there's nothing that they combine on the way you agree. I wish there was a third party at this point. Yeah. Ron yeah. Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. Ron Paul, still, I still see those signs he's, popping up everywhere. He's still trying. Eh, that ain't that gonna Paul. wash. Yeah. I, I, you gotta go uh, McCain, though, right? Is that what, you know? Right now, but I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really feel confused. I mean, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Have the Republicans, uh, if everyone deserves a timeout after the past few years. <laughs> That's true. Is it the whole party, though, or is it the, you know, is it the George Bush? Well, I don't know, but I'm just saying it's like, I don't know, man. It's just mm. very tough. It's all yeah. of them. Is it yeah, just clean house? The Democrats, and- I heard Norton once again misidentifying the radio thing the other day, saying like the... What they've done on the radio, but it's also the Democrats no, do the same. Oh, I know. No, 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 I'm no, saying no. both parties. But I'm just screaming about the Democrats are the ones know, who are causing the problems. I'm saying, I'm saying with the fines. It's both parties. This is what I'm saying. I hate I hate the way it works right now. You know, I wish there was another party. Yeah, a real one. Not yeah. one of these goofy friggin' where they you know, have to be Ralph understand. Nader is crazy. Right. Hey, where they give us like three Pat day weekends. Pat, like Pat Buchanan. <laughs> bring back the wig. Pat party. Buchanan was good. Let's bring back the wig. Chicken in every pot. That was a good slogan. Three day weekends. Jim's a party party. Hey, three day weekends. Everyone's cheering in high school. Yeah. Right. You if work from eight in the morning till <laughs> nine in the morning. Go. Proposition four twenty. <laughs> Rocco. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Smoke uh, two joints. Yeah, it's it's just at the point where you don't know which goof ticket to vote it's for. It's really embarrassing. It's like yeah. nobody agrees with. Uh, Anybody that agrees with 100% or more extreme of either party it just makes me sick. But there's a lot of people that are like that. Nothing gets done, though, in this day and age because people, no one wants to agree with any legislation that the Democrats come up with if they're Republican but, and vice versa. I know, but it's like, ah, it just drives me nuts. I was, well, I was reading some leftist people the other day, and they're like, yeah, man, because the media is so uh, conservative. Uh, and I was like, what? Was? How am I ever going to agree with you if you won't admit the Fox. media? Fox, they yeah, Fox one. Fox. Oh, Fox. Okay. Well, yeah, but they point to one <laughs> out of all, you know. Oh, it's just annoying. So I just don't. I don't see what's going to happen here. Yeah, very, very weird situation. I, I think McCain will win. Um, you do. I bet. I, I bet a hundred dollars uh, with uh, Opie, and um, who else? I disagree. I'm in with. I'm in with Jimmy. He's not thinking. He's hoping. He, he's no, hoping no, McCain I really is. think uh, McCain's going to win because when uh, push comes to shove mm-hmm. uh, in this country... Yes, his arms are not effective. 
I think that uh, people are uh, more willing to uh, elect a female vice president than a black president. I just think that's the way this country's mindset is right now. Yeah, I wrong. think that's not true. Really? I think, are you kidding me? Uh -oh. Look at all those white I, states. I do where respect he and what, are you kidding me? what Colin says. What, are you kidding me or what? What, you yeah. kidding me? But look at all those white states. Everybody's like, Obama, people secretly. They all voted for him in Idaho, Mont all the white states. Caucus state. people. Vermont. What's that? Vermont? Yeah, in Vermont, they voted for him and everything. <laughs> caucus people. These caucus people. But caucus. They, uh, but he's also got, let's be honest, I've never met a black guy with a more boring personality. Oh, than I know. He's got that like a be... white accountant personality. It's that wife you got to watch. Yeah. Ooh, uh, uh, she's a loose cannon. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The fist bump. I hate a little mouth. She makes a little mouth mm -hmm. thing. That's all you yeah. hate about her. Uh, I wouldn't want to. Let's be honest. I wouldn't want to be on her line at the DMV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got uh, Pam. You got to have the other authorization. We got Pam Anderson speaking out about uh, Palin. So oh, man. thank God Pam is finally talking. I, I, it's interesting to hear that the celebrities are oh, really boy. going at the conservatives, which is odd. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, Matt well, Damon was trashing risky. Sarah Palin. It's all over well, uh, YouTube. Damon, that guy's edgy, man. And now you got uh, Pam Anderson. This is what she had to say. So you know Sarah Palin is the VP candidate for the Republicans in the U.S., where you currently reside. Now, I don't know if you've seen the recent Newsweek article with her, but she has a gigantic bear hide in, I think it's her office or her house. I can't stand her. And the head is almost bigger than her body. She can suck it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> so ha! Quote me. Wow, I can't stand her. She, she can, can suck it. That sounds like, that sounds like uh, idiocracy. <laughs> suck it! Did you see idiocracy? <laughs> so there you go. Yes, I did see that. It was, was funnier than people gave it credit for. It was really funny. Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking right now at, at, at a Stonehenge statue on top of a twig. Oh, wait. That's Al Roker. How big is... Oof. I thought you meant I thought you meant Kevin Bacon no. and Kyra Sedgwick. No, no. I was like Stonehenge because they do look kind of... Oh, is this the Footloose... Uh, no, it's Bacon Brothers. How old is Kevin Union? Bacon? 20? It is Footloose. Yeah, he looks That's good. That son oh, of a bitch. God. That can just... He, he uh, looks like he did an animal house. Hey, what did he make a deal with the devil or oh, something? Oh, <laughs> stop it, Colin. Woo! Oh, stop it. Look at, look at Kenny Loggins with the... Uh, that's the, Kenny that, Loggins? That, with the hair plug. Holy oh. Jesus, that's Kenny Loggins? Kenny sure Loggins is, is pretty right. good, too. We're watching uh, Kenny Loggins on the Today oh. Show with Kevin Bacon. Everybody got... And there's Lori Singer. That blonde didn't age too bad, huh? Lori Singer. That's, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty Footloose. good. How, how, how long ago was Footloose? I Everybody got a cut. Everybody look got a Matt Lauer's bald spot. That oh, makes me so happy. Matt. 84. She aged pretty well, man. You're not Kevin kidding. Bacon, how old is he? He's yeah, he looks amazing. He's oh, does he look fantastic? Yeah. Did you see his ass in that movie with Matt Dillon? No. <laughs> I wanted to see it in The Woodsman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 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 Hey, uh, uh, we got Walter on the line. Walter? We Walter, he's a crafty my, old son of a bitch. My Walter. <laughs> we haven't heard from Walter. My <laughs> good boy. <laughs> They're coming out of the he woodwork. Doesn't. We'd all be dead if it wasn't for my Walter. <laughs> no, I'm doing from uh God's gonna get you for that, Walter. Oh, yes, Maud. No, I'm doing uh, Walter from uh, you know, the movie for Mickey Rock and uh Forget it. Pope of Greenwich Village. <laughs> Forget, Forget it. it Pope of Greenwich Village. My Forget Walter. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that in many, many years. Yeah. Remember the mother, the old lady? Oh. No. Hmm? What was that? What's that? What's that? I think it's your computer rebooting. I think it's God getting you guys for some of the salty language you've used today. <laughs> yes. All right, let's, uh, punished. let's say hi to Walter. Walter. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, maybe it was Walter. All right. Hey, Walter, why don't you explain to Colin Quinn what you're into? What? Why don't you explain to Colin Quinn what you're into? Oh, my God. It's this guy. Guys, can you guys get some beautiful girls to call in and laugh for me? Why are you on a speakerphone, Walter? I don't know. Why not? Well, we can't really hear you. Pick up the phone. Why not? Why not? Why not? Walter is a guy. He's, uh... Yes. Uh, he uh, gets off when girls just laugh at him. Do you guys hold on? Yes. Hurry yes. up, Walter. Dude, this guy is from ages ago. No kidding. He's really creepy. Get yeah, some girls to call and laugh for hard. Yeah, it's get a, a weird fetish, weird humiliation fetish. It's really yeah. strange. Uh, if we could get a girl just to laugh for us, that would be great. Just to, not with just, these two comics in studio. Make that pa make the pa make the pal talk girl do it. She's uh, gone. She's off to dance. Oh, yes. oh. Walter. 
This is our big Walter bit. This might fail today, too. This bit is... Well, really... you got to call somebody up to laugh for him. Walter. Walter. We might have to give up on Walter. All Walter's right. an idiot. Had, enough with Walter. He didn't... Have... What? Hello? He's at speakerphone. All right. Sorry, guys. Welcome back. All right, well, hi, Walter. Sorry I scolded you. Where, what, what have you been up to? We haven't talked to you since the NEW days. Not much. Listen, can you guys get some beautiful girls between ages of... Uh, 24, 25 to call in and laugh for me. Hey, Walter, did that turn you on when a girl does it in person, too? Yes, it does. Would where, you, where, are you, where are you located? New York. Would you be willing to come in studio um, to have a girl uh, laugh at you in person? Yeah, we're going to have a studio audience today at the other joint. Uh, how close are you, are you? How close am I? Yeah. Uh, not that close. Well, where are you, Walter? Where are you, Walter? You don't have to give your exact address. Yeah. Give us a borough. Zip code. Yeah, something. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> but, uh, can you guys do that? I've no. never seen the phones deader, by the way. Yeah, you've really killed the this phones, is, Walter. This is a very popular radio show, but, uh, no, no takers, Walter. No takers? No. Why not? Well, I mean, if, if someone calls, we'll, we'll put them right through. Uh, we just need a woman to laugh uh, for Walter. Do you have tiny genitals? Like, do you get off on a woman, like, just pointing and kind of humiliating you that way, telling you your genitals are tiny? No. What is it about the laugh, then? Is it the hum What is it? Because it's awesome. Hey, Walter, do you live with Mom and Dad still? No. You're on your own? What do you do for a living? I'd rather not say. Well, why would you? <laughs> rather not say. what? We, unless you're g dismembering hookers, what do you do? No, I'd rather not say. Do you like Fran Drescher's laugh? Who? Fran Drescher, the nanny? No. Why, that laugh is too nasally? Yeah. We just remind you of mommy. We just need one. Uh, mommy. We need <laughs> one lousy yeah, girl. Like, a lot of guys yeah, are calling. That's a great idea. What? I have a great idea. What's that? If no girls call in to laugh, I know the perfect person you guys could get to laugh. Oh. The wonderful music director for the station. Who's that? Who's that? Danny? Danny? We don't, we don't listen to the station when we're not here. I don't even know who you're talking Danny? about. Danny? Oh, hold on, hold on. We got Amy. All right. Amy. Yeah. You're going to be a good sport for us today? Yeah. All right, uh, Walter, we got Amy on the phone for you. Hi, Amy. Listen to how creepy this is. One of the creepiest things we've ever done. It's great. All right, Amy, all you have to do is uh, laugh and try to make it sound like a real laugh. No, it has to be very real. Right now? All right, Walter. All right, Walter, calm I'm down. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Amy. Okay. That was not real enough. I'm sorry. Oh, come oh, on. God, God damn. damn. Hey, Walter. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want, Meryl Streep to call in? We're doing the best yeah, we can. What, uh, you know, what the hell, Walter? We stopped the whole show for you. Be appreciative. I need to be more, I need to be more real. I'm, I'm appreciative. Be specific about real. Louder. More like shotgun. What's the, what kind of, what, what constitutes real? Amy, come on. you got to help us out That here. was a bad laugh, though. It really was. Why no, it's, it was kind of like, good. I liked it. It was stuck. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was uh, like a quiet, erotic, kind of like Filipino At laugh. the beginning, it sucked. Why don't you <laughs> slap your leg and yell, har, har, hardy, har, har. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, people don't really do that, Jimmy. It has to be more, has to be more, more, has to be more <laughs> real. Steal your bit, Anthony. Yeah. Quit saying real and get specific. Yeah, stop. Yeah, come on, All water. right, Amy, give it another try. It's Wayne Brady wearing Freddy Krueger's shirt for Amy, just do it louder is what it probably means. Good visual. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here it is. Good visual. Wait, bad radio. doing good. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. It's <laughs> good. Amy, I'm sorry, but... That's not working. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Walter. Well, let's, try, let's try another girl. Right, I'm Walter. sorry, Amy. Sorry, Amy. Let's, let's try uh, Sue in Pennsylvania. Oh, Sue, you got to laugh for Walter? No, I'm not going to laugh for Walter. I'm just going to tell Jimmy that I love him. 
Oh, Thank you very yourself. much, Sue. If you love me, why don't you do this? Hold on, hold on. Bitch. Sue, if you love me, why don't you do this for the show? We need this a big bang down the show, the side of the show with. Yeah. Well, then, and Jimmy has to make me laugh. He's the only one. Oh, to make go me laugh. screw. Well, hold, I see she's you, out. You gave up on her too fast. She might have been <laughs> no. too fast. <laughs> All right. Like we're not you gonna... laugh first, get the joke second. Hmm? Ah, I right, like well, it. Reverse. Well, uh, Walter, stay there. We're going to wrap up the show here, but maybe we get one more girl to laugh at you before we get out of here. <laughs> All right. Most, uh, the phones are ringing, but it's, it seems like it's a lot of dudes. The, the, like, the thing I love about Walter yeah. that makes him even creepier than you can imagine is when he goes, well, if you can't get a girl, how about the music director for this day? Don't get it. Who's that? Danny. Yeah, Danny. She does have a, a nice voice. I, I do know who she is. Never met her. Oh, yeah, well, get her to do it. Shut <laughs> the F up, Walter. Yeah, really, Walter, you are he just demanding, like, and all, sounds, you're offering nothing and demanding a he lot. Sa- he sounds like he was seeing something about Mary the Guy in a wheelchair. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's that? Uh, Look at have... Channel 5. Well, you know, it's no, just, okay. we're, That's back, the news. we're back to normal news. You know, what is that? September 11th was yesterday. Now September 12th. So I'm like, look at this. What's the name? I don't know. Dancing friggin'. Trannies. Who trannies, trannies, it looks trannies. like. You're right. Is it trannies? Those look like dancing look. trannies. Oh, yes. Very nice. Enjoyable. We got to go uh, We got to go eat there again. Who, All right. Was that the, where we went to eat with the trannies? Where was that? We went... Uh, uh, oh, it's it? Bardo. It's closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Are you guys that went was to a great a show. You went to a tranny joint? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, I forgot about Many that. Many years ago. Yeah, we Fun told that story on the air. I went to one of those places, or at the Chinese place, right? No, that's uh, no, Lucky, Lucky Chinese. Chinese. I went to the, that place, yeah. We'll go and there some again. Tranny's, and all I, all I was like, I was just freaking out because they pull people out of the audience and embarrass them and stuff, and I'm just like, I just want to eat. I was dragged here. I don't want to be part of the sure, show. That's what we all say. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was dragged By here. Who, yeah. penis? Don't worry. <laughs> I was dragged here to see the drag. I was, I was, here. I was dragged here by an incident when I was seven. The food's great, though. I had the. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, we got Bridget. Bridget's gonna be a trooper. Bridget, we gotta like uh, bring this Walter bit home for Colin Quinn. Uh, we don't want to let uh, Colin down here today. No, he did a great job for us. Bridget, give us a give us a real good laugh for Walter, who's on the other line. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to do it. I'm a little bit long, so it kind of sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to laugh? <laughs> Am I doing okay? Yes. I mean, I'm. You're doing good. <laughs> well, let's ask. Let's ask stupid Go. Walter. Walter. Every time you... That was not very good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you got a lot of. You really this want. guy is picky. Hey, the, he. It's not. Well, he's making judgments. He looks down. If something doesn't move. Laughing good enough. <laughs> That's the way it works. All right. Exactly. Picky. Leslie. He goes, exactly. Oh, Leslie, could you? Exactly. Like Jimmy's right. Yes. Let's get uh, Leslie laughing at Walter. Go ahead, Leslie. All right. You know what? Um, the thing that made me laugh earlier before was David. Would he be able to come in? David? Oh, yeah. and he'll talk dirty while she does it? Mm-mm. <laughs> Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, give us a laugh because I don't know where David is. Yeah, who knows? knows. Yeah. David, Mark Chanel. We're trying to here. we're trying to end the show with the with the big out here. All right, how about this one? Here's David. Here's David. Oh, we got David. Oh. Say hi to oh, Leslie. Hi. My David. Uh, David, Leslie loves you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You were fantastic, by the way. Uh, oh, thank you. Leslie, are you uh, a Jewish uh, girl? Um. Uh. No. Don't uh. Care. Okay. Hold on. Um. David, how are the parents with a girl that isn't Jewish? If you bring her home. <laughs> Problem, right? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. Well, he is like Uber Jew. Well, we like to call him. Uh, well, t- t- <laughs> uh, easy. We like to call him job saver. <laughs> Just, but David doesn't oh. strike me as a as a as a Jewish <laughs> yeah. kid with a lot of money. I think the family doesn't. I think they live in. Uh, he's he's a Jewy Jew. What's uh, no, what kind of business? He's... What kind of business the family in? Oh, um. What? Thinking. Not oh. you, no, David. Oh. David. Uh, uh, teaching. My mother's in teaching. Teacher. Mm-hmm. My dad's pretty good. He's in uh, like uh, information, like IT tech. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice. Ekes out a good living, right? Definitely. Would you yeah. say they're religious? The family? Uh, very. No, uh, dad, not so much. Yeah. Mom, a little. Why bit. Do you but that's the big for, thing. If mom is, then you know, describe for, describe is. for Leslie what you had at your bar mitzvah, starting with the food <laughs> and the ice sculpture <laughs> and everything. <laughs> 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 Just describe the whole thing to her. <laughs> what color? What color suit did you wear? 
Uh, it was like a gray. <laughs> oh, a gray suit. Uh, gray suit, wow. And what happened when you walked in? What music? It was, it, it was like Jewish music. Jewy Lewis and the News? <laughs> <laughs> Jewy Lewis and the Jews. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, Jesus. let's see. What? All right, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh God, yeah. All right. Walter? Oh, wow. that, that looks like... All right, wait, 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 wait. wait. We got too much going on here. Walter? <laughs> you. That was good? That was beautiful, Leslie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See, I knew my laugh would come in handy sometime. All right, well, let's get another <laughs> laugh out of Leslie for Walter. Uh, another question for uh, David here. Was there an ice sculpture at the uh, bar mitzvah? No, there was not. Aww. Lie to me. I like it. Come on. <laughs> she likes it? So that wouldn't be good if, if you brought home uh, a girl that was uh, not Jewish. Wow. Well, my grandfather was Jewish. Does that count? Uh, no, it's got to so be Hitler's. Some, oh, it's got to be a maternal yeah, kind of a thing. Jewish. So was Hitler's. I, I kind of, I have a Jew nose. How's that? Do you? Where no, do you I'm, keep I'm it? Lying, but still, come on, work with me. <laughs> David, she, Ava. she sounds like she wants to, you know. She got a little, she got a little fetish. A little <laughs> fetish. I see, I see. <laughs> oh, Leslie, you are <laughs> great, girl. <laughs> Walter's. <laughs> There's so much going on, you forget who's... <laughs> it's, it's kind of working in a weird... Yes! It's yes! Way, it's like a three-way thing. Yeah, Leslie, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I hear it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love it. I love it. It is great. All right, one more uh, question. for That me. really limits your... um Because you're yeah. looking for a girl, right? Can I ask her a question? Sure. Sure, Dave. How old is she? How old are you? Um, I look like I'm 18. How's that? Mm. But how old are That's you? That's good, because I look like I'm 18, but I'm not. That's true. He does. I look a lot younger than my age. How old are you, Leslie? Mm. That's 30. 20. That's over 30. No. Okay. No. All right, 25. Just about, yeah. yeah. A little, little higher than 25. That's all right. All right. That's and and uh, you're really high. cutting down on the number of uh, girls you, you could go out with, though, you know, because you're looking for a girl. You say, you know. You're definitely kinda, looking. You're defi definitely looking. Oh, yeah. Well, as an intern on this program, rest assured, girl, guy, you're getting effed by something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Of yeah, Leslie, keep it up. <laughs> oh, Leslie, I love you. <laughs> Just when you forget he's there. <laughs> Come on, Leslie, bring it home. Bring it home, Leslie. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh yes, Leslie. Oh, yes, Leslie. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I always thought sex is funny, but this is just as beyond anything. Oh, this is great. Oh, God. Oh, it's a triangle of idiocy going on over here. Yeah, Don't blame poor David. I uh, you know. Poor David. You go a triangle of idiocy, David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leslie? That's a good idea. I didn't want to say this ahead of time because we really needed someone to be a good egg today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I could have got a lot more women calling by, by saying what I'm going to say right now. You got a pair of tickets to see Chris Rock. No. Yes. That's what we do for Leslie today. Where? I think it's tonight at the Apollo Theater. Holy Jesus. Congratulations. So you want to talk about laughter. You'll have plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you bring, yeah. bring what's-his-name with you? Sit in his chair. Huh? Back off. Not, ooh. No, no, the guy. I'm saying the, what's his name? Leslie, hold on. Hold on line. Walter. We're going to give you the ticket to see. Uh... Leslie, thank you again. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be whisked away in an armored personnel carrier up north <laughs> to see Chris Rock at the Apollo Theater. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, boys. Oh, all right. Hold on a line. You got the, the tickets. Apollo Theater, Chris Rock. He was supposed to come in and promote this damn thing. What happened yeah, to Chris Rock? I'll talk to him about it. All right. If he's doing a gig tonight, how is he not sold out at the Apollo? He has to be. I'm oh, yeah. sure. He should have came and said hi. He had a good time last night. He's probably in yeah. bed. Did night get gig night. You're not going to get up early. All right, Leslie. Thank you so much. Yes, Leslie. Oh, you're I'm very good. Kidding. So much all right, Walter, all right, we get bye. it. I love that. Jesus. Bye. Walter, we'll see you soon, all right? No one's paying all attention right. to my David. Thanks, guys. That, 
That is that the great. creepiest bit. That was I the forgot greatest about that. Oh, he's awful. Every time we forget he's there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie just starts laughing at a joke and he's like, oh, oh, <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Creep. I can't what a ghoul. That's... David was left at the mic like, what am I supposed to do now? I know. Yeah. Nobody told you to leave the mic. Get back with your questions. <laughs> How long has your family been in Dresden? No, I'm just kidding. All right, we got to go. We're so oh, late. Well, David, you, you made a great impact on your first day as intern. Congrats, because that never happens. You're a hit. Jesus. When are you coming back? Next week. What day? All right. Uh, I'll be here on Wednesday. All right, all right, all right. Wednesday. Uh, yeah. I'll be here on Wednesday. <laughs> We're going to do kosher sports with you on Wednesday. Yep. It's great. More sports? Okay, sounds Kosher good. sports, my Kosher friend. sports. Yeah. You Definitely. practice. You practice. Don't tell your parents you're doing this. You're a good man, David. We don't want them blowing up our spot. Definitely. When they ask you how the internship's going, eh, you know, I get the guy's coffee and stuff. Don't don't mention the Jewy Jew thing. Just okay. catch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's five uh, in the morning, you know. Yeah. How do you think it's going? That Walter is a creep, huh? Oh, oh that it was cool. great. I don't want to say. I don't want to say. Why don't you want to say? Why? What, what? Zip code you're in. Yeah. Come on. Fool. He out. seems a little more aggressive than the old days. Yeah, he's yeah. Kind of he might be a uh, and something. a little more picky. Yeah, he might be uh, ready to like uh, go from animals to humans very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely making a transition. He's, making right. that, he's in that transitional period yes, right now. Yes. <laughs> People either hate or love Walter. By the way, animals. To it, there's no uh, middle ground with that thing. All right, hey Colin. Wow, you gave Thanks, us some energy man. today, my friend. It was fun. Yeah. Stop being a stranger. Stop I being know. a in. You're Stop living. being a call guy. You, you, you're on the phone. Get your ass in here. Get Call some air. Her. Get some air. All right, I'll come in. I told you. I'm coming in after the week next week. All right. All right. I guess that's it. What else yeah. are we supposed to do? That's it. We're I supposed to leave and go curse over at the other place. Have a good weekend. Oh,